hello and welcome to another video with myself Charlene Smith you guys know what time it is it is gym time I am heading in the gym with you today and we are gonna do a quad focused workout I like to take you guys in the gym sometimes and just give you some of my highlights <laughs> I like you guys to just sort of get involved in the workouts that I enjoy doing and I just want to let you guys know as well that I've got my fitness platform and uh, you could join me for like hit workouts and everything so my workouts on my fitness platform are unedited so I am with you from the beginning to the end you see all the raw unfiltered footage yeah so if you want to join in on them workouts make sure you sign up to my fitness platform i will put the link in the description but listen I'm bringing the vibes i'm bringing the work rate the energy and i need you guys to come and join me so yeah uh check that out um if you're interested it's seven days free trial so come over see if you fancy it and if you do get involved but in the meantime, we're gonna head into the gym and get this work going. Let's go, babies. The first thing we're gonna do is start off with our dynamic stretches. Now, I say this in all of our gym videos, that it is absolutely fundamental to prepare your mind and your body for the work that you've got coming ahead and also reduce your risk of any injury. So let's start off with some dynamic stretching. I like to take my time with my dynamic stretches as these are absolutely fundamental, especially when you are doing weight training. Now, if you are someone who is quite short on time in the gym, I would much rather you reduce your actual workout and spend that little bit more time doing your dynamic stretches. A little tip from Shah. Now I'm reaching for my resistance band, which is medium resistance, which I'm putting on and placing just above my kneecaps. Now I am doing these exercises to activate my glutes. I am doing 10 banded hip abductions and I am then holding for 10 seconds and I'm repeating this twice round. Now it's time to take off your resistance band and head over to the cardio machines. I'm going to be so real with you guys. I didn't actually record my cardio section of this workout but you guys know the drill spend about five to ten minutes doing um some cardio and then meet me over on the weights the first exercise that we are going to do is the barbell sumo squat now these are great for your adductors your glutes your quads hamstrings, hip flexors, and your calf muscles. You can probably guess what exercise we've got coming up next. That's right, it is the goblet squat. Now, before I do this exercise with the weight, I'm literally just doing a bit of a warm up session. So yeah, participate in this and then we'll do the actual exercises with some weight. Let's go, baby. Right, now it is time to reach for your dumbbell and include some weight on these goblet squats. Let me just tell you, these goblet squats are great for your quads. 
especially when you're going at a much slower tempo you are really gonna feel your quads burning let me just say i fry for that feeling let's go As you can see, my quads are absolutely on fire. <laughs> Just the way I like it. Now it is time to do some walking lunges with our dumbbells. Again, this is a great exercise for working those quad muscles, as well as your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves, your abdominals, and your hips. Let's get walking. Now we are moving on to our Bulgarian split squats. So as you can see, I am doing a quad focused exercise and I'm doing this by keeping my back straight as opposed to leaning forward. So by keeping your back straight, you are going to be working your quads. Whereas if you have that forward lean, you are going to be more focused on working your glutes. Now it is time for our isolation exercise, which is the leg extension. And let me just say, if your quads are not on fire by this point, then they will be. On this exercise, we're gonna start off by working both legs. Then we are gonna go into single legs. Let me just warn you now, this one is an absolute burner, but it is a great way to end your session. Let's go. Now I'm popping on my resistance band for the core work that we're about to do. So now we're gonna do some in-out plank jacks to work those core muscles. Let's go. Now you can take off your resistance band as we are gonna do our very last exercise, which is gonna be the plank hip dips. Now this exercise is great for strengthening your abs, your obliques, as well as your lower back. It's gonna really help to trim down your waist. Let's get this last bit of work in before we stretch.
right guys so that is today's workout i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've enjoyed working out with me i must say i still look uh, kind of fresh after that sesh but hey ho let me know how you got on in the comments and i'll see you again soon for another workout bye for now <laughs>